Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go and do our daily technical analysis of oil and natural gas. Uh, we'll run through these, I'll give you my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. But let's dive in here and take a look and see what's going on in these two sectors. So what I've got behind me is uh, oil. We've broken to the upside of this big pattern. Uh, you can draw this pattern um, not like that. I meant to have it on this guy there. Uh, I can pull this up. I can draw it up here where we broke to the upside and hit it and came back down underneath it. Or you can draw it off the contact points in here and in here, which has a lot more contact points, uh, and which is the one that I prefer to be drawing on because there's all that more contact points. And on the daily candlestick here, uh, we've come, come on up. We're getting a little bit of selling pressure down a little bit today. Uh, and, and we're kind of slowing down the movement to the up move. This could roll over and come back down. We could go and, and come back lower. It's a possibility. I try not to predict the future. We're just looking at what the past has done and trying to see what it might potentially do. But we are coming into sellers here. Natural gas is heading lower. Uh, what we could draw in here is kind of a, a neckline here. And it could be a shoulder head shoulder where this thing pummels back down uh, is a possibility. Does that mean I'm going to sell anything? It does not because I think we are in a bull market uh, in the long term. And that may not play out that way. XOP, uh, we're just coming down in this fanning pattern. We're still kind of right on it on top of it. Uh, SM pulling back a little bit. We could see uh, further downside uh, or chopping sideways underneath this support line or resistance line, I should say. Uh, this is what it looks like. We're coming up. We hit our head on it. We came back and we're just chopping sideways. Centennial Development Resources. Again, we're chopping sideways here. A little bit of a sell off today. Still doing the chop, chop, chop. Uh, crew energy chopping along sideways as well down day to day kind of a bearish engulfing pattern where we could head a little bit lower but we're in this channel pattern this one's Callum petroleum again we're getting sell sold off today the past couple of days been selling off the possibility of heading lower is out there and there we are doesn't look too bad on a weekly candlestick basis Athabasca oil, again, we're at that resistance line cutting across. Uh, we're right there trying to break through it. And we have small down day today. Doesn't look bad at all. Looks actually pretty strong. But remember, if oil goes down, this is probably going to go down with it. Recaf chopping sideways still. Not much action there. Northern oil and gas getting a little bit of selling off pressure. Came on up, selling off a little bit. We've got uh, Crescent Point Energy Corporation. We're dancing along its support line up here, and we're up above it. So that's that's a good thing. A big picture view, it's a shoulder, head, shoulder that we're trying to, to break out of, an inverted head and shoulders. Grand Tierra Energy, again, came on down. We've got kind of this reverse head and shoulders, if you look at it. Uh, on the daily candlesticks, we're finding a little bit of uh, selling selling pressure as we come up into this resistance area. Tellurian, a little bit of selling pressure. If natural gas pulls back quite substantially, this could pull back substantially with it. Uh, up to you on what you want to do. If you want to put it into a free ride, this is probably the spot I would do it in. Uh, if you're worried about it. If you're worried about it. Uh, Pedevco, a little bit of selling pressure here. Uh, we're right at that support line. And that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, Oasis getting a little bit of selling pressure, I can see uh, at the tip here, uh, trying to break back through this resistance line. Now, could this fall further? Yes, it can. And what happens is you, you break it out of it and maybe it's just doing a retest. It can grind higher on this line as well. So I'm not doing anything with my shares. I'm just holding on. Uh, Looking at Comstock resources and the weakness in natural gas, this could pull back uh, quite a bit and test this line way down here. 
Uh, so I think I do expect this to pull back a little bit more on the short term. SD, Sandridge Energy, getting a little bit of a sell-off today, 3%. Natural gas was quite quite weak. It's a natural gas company. Uh, Ring Energy, selling off today, 5.81%. Uh, kind of looking at the big picture view here. This is our support or resistance line. We did not kind of break through it. It's just chopping sideways. We do have support down here. I'll draw it in there like this. We do have support right underneath it. We've got Trillion Energy. A couple people wanted me to, you know, have me chart this. We had a big move here and it's been selling off over time. I don't think this looks very strong at the moment. Um, I mean, maybe it's got a little bit of support. Would I be buying it? Me personally, probably not. Uh, I wouldn't be buying it here. Uh, I would wait for it to, to get some more strength. It's been going in this long-term channel here for a while, and it hit its head on that channel. It's been selling off. On a monthly candlestick basis, it looks quite weak. Uh, I would be a buyer at lower levels down here at $0.05. Cents. It's kind of where I would be. Surge Energy. Looking at this, it's been just chopping sideways at the moment. And then uh, Tamarack Valley is at resistance at the upper end of its resistance area, and we're trying to break through it. Uh, it's getting stuck there. The energy service company is very similar. This is Tetra Technologies. Let me delete some of this stuff out. Going to the yearly, we've been just bouncing back and forth here. Bouncing back and forth inside of the pattern. Uh, we've got Transocean. We're in this downward inverted head and shoulders, and hopefully we can start moving higher eventually. Uh, let's go to Pump. Pump or ProPetro Holdings Corporation. We're in this pattern here. Uh, looking at it, I mean, this could break to the downside, guys. It very well could. We got selling pressure coming down through here. Difficult to say which way this guy's going to go. Highly depends on oil itself. Getting strong. Oh, we are flat today. Flat today for Exterian Corporation. Uh, Valeris getting a little bit of selling pressure. This could pull back. We have resistance up here. But we have higher lows stepping up into it. And hopefully we can get a low, a higher low somewhere in here. Uh, Tidewater. Back out here. Big old selling pressure coming on down. We'll see where this thing kind of bottoms out at. We are still in a downtrend for Tidewater. NEX, uh, next year oil field solutions, we are in this pattern uh, chopping sideways. CHX, Champ Champion X Corporation, kind of a inverted head and shoulders if this thing can get moving and can break its neckline. Uh, this one's WHD Cactus Incorporated. Uh, looks like we've got kind of a uh, resistance line up there, kind of an inverted head and shoulders. With that neckline oii again i can draw it somewhat like this or maybe across like that with a shoulder head shoulder neckline i don't know if that i don't know if it's technically one noble energy or noble corporation uh deep sea driller again we've been chopping sideways with this guy uh, probably good for a long-term hold if, if you think oil price is going to go far higher these are all delayed behind the exploration companies uh, and HLX, again, it's got a big old pattern that's developing. It has not broken yet. It depends. It's up to you if you want to get in here and, and hold on to it. So oil is looking kind of weak, to be honest. Uh, natural gas looks very weak. Uh, that could have substantially lower and bring, bring down some of our oil and natural gas companies. Um, but, I mean, we're coming to maybe things are priced in for the winter. We'll see. We'll see what inventories do. And maybe we're just waiting for next summer spring summer when the demand for oil really starts to ramp up uh, again i'm not selling any of my companies i think they are well positioned for next year i've got really good buy points there's no reason for me to sell it the valuations if we were to look at the valuations here real quick i can do that which is the gold to oil ratio uh, the gold to oil ratio uh, is reading at a, at a 24 roughly 
and that's pretty cheap. A 24 is pretty cheap. So uh, I'm not really doing much of anything. I'm just holding on to my my shares, and we're at a cheap cheap area. So we, we want this ratio to uh, decline, where oil outperforms gold, and it steps all the way down and breaks out of this bottom channel here, uh, which I should probably draw more like like this. We could, we break 22 to the downside. I think we're going to see a big run in oil. That ratio. Uh, so that's where I'm at today. Uh, that's that's what uh, the value looks like, and hopefully, uh, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold on. That's what I'm gonna do. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.